Hey guys, I wanted to include a quick video here or clue you into one just to show you how to use this Moises app that I'm using. Mike and I have messed around with it a good bit and it's 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 awesome little AI app that takes any song you load into it and separates it into tracks. And you see here I've got a premium account, um, so I've got the best quality version of it that you can get. And I've been loading a whole bunch of the songs that we're doing here. Sometimes if you, if you process it, you can choose tracks like here i chose vocals drums bass guitar other uh, on this one i read did the same thing i picked a piano as a separate it didn't do the best job separating the piano for some reason i don't think it did but anyway you get the idea if you see a song here twice it's because i've tried to get piano out for mike or guitars out for us it separates the bass the drums everything i'll give you an example um, here's fooled around and fell in love if you click on it you'll go here and you'll see it should pull up all the tracks. And I think it's really neat is, is uh, here I've got these, some, if, you, if you go in here and some of them are soloed or muted or whatever, it puts a metronome on it. So you see M over here. And if I've been practicing, I might have soloed or something, but you can, I'll show you how this works. Let me hit play. So say you don't want the drums or something, right? You can mute them. Or you can solo the bass. That's pretty cool. And for people like Chris, I would imagine it'd be helpful to take the vocal out so you're not singing along with Mickey Thomas unless you just want to. So I'll show you. It's really pretty helpful, I think. The other thing that Mike uh, noticed is it does have tempo up here. So you can go and you can change this tempo to say uh, 60 beats a second or a minute or whatever. And then let's just go remember it's 76. So I'll go to 69 and check this out. And then we go here and hit play. So if you need to learn your riffs or whatever, that's what I'm doing. I'm slowing them down. Also, one more thing I'll say is down here in the bottom, you'll see it plays the chords for the song. Where it, it does like probably about 90% right. So let's go back to uh, reset the speed, 76. That's the original speed. And then uh, watch, the, watch the key. There you go. I didn't care how you go it actually brings the chord up a split second before the chord actually becomes active so you can actually play along with it and it gives you about a, a quarter of a second warning as to what the next chord is going to be which is pretty dang cool and so there's all kinds of use for this if you need to download any of the tracks you can actually do an export here and you can tell it what tracks for download all of them i've been downloading the tracks and and um, even doing that if you need to and that way you can pull them up in a, a you know some kind of digital audio workstation or uh, if you want to just really you know work out your your uh, file and i don't think carl will ever need it but if he ever did need a metronome or something uh you know carl could even carl could even mute the drums here and have his metronome going or something if i unmute it and you got this kind of deal so yeah that's and it's pretty powerful and pretty cool and it says here can you even change the key huh i not we've not even tried that but a b c d e f g e well you know what if we decide we're going to do it in e or we're going to do it in d it seems like when uh, we played it in the past we played it in d so if there are you know you can say, pretty amazing it does it really fast too so uh, there you go Moises AI and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna send you guys each the login password for that so you'll be logged in as me uh, you know I'm I think I pay $59 a year or something to use it it's pretty cool so you guys don't have to pay anything just go in there and, and uh, but you'll see I'm trying to to build all the songs that we do there's probably a handful of them I've not put in there yet. And Mike wanted eruption, so I went and put that one in there for him. But yeah, so here's basically everything separated out. You'll see all of them. Each one of them is going to be, it might take eight or ten seconds for it to pop up, but they should all be separated out. I guess what it's doing is loading the files right now is what the delay is. So yeah, you might have to wait 
45 seconds or something for this to work. That's the gist of it, folks. Um, enjoy. I'll send you the. I'll send you the login soon. Thanks.